How's it going YouTube? Uh, Wendy here with a quick tutorial on how to use Bandicam. This is actually more from my clan mates, but I'm gonna release it to the wider community as well. Uh, first, you want to go into general and set your output folder. This is preferably on the fastest hard drive that you have on the computer. If you make it a slow hard drive, it, it, I think it does. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty much certain that it affects the performance of the, the, the recording. Uh, I have it on my Samsung here. So I have a separate one for the OS, for example, local disk. I have an even more separate one for another operating system, but that doesn't matter. So I've got it on uh, Samsung, and it's a really big hard drive. As you can see, it's uh, nearly 2 terabytes. Uh, well, it is 2 terabytes, but 1.81 terabytes in uh, the real numbers, uh, which gives me a lot of space. You want to make sure you have a lot of space, because some recordings can go really, really long. I've actually just fucked it up, uh, and I changed it. I'm just going to fix that. Uh, make it movies, movies. And I have a folder in movies called uh, fuck called uh, called YouTube recordings right there. Okay, and in video now, this is the important stuff. You want to set a hotkey that you know isn't like a key in the game. So I have it on F12. This works for legal. This works for every single game that I've made a recording on. So uh, League of Legends. Uh, a bit of amnesia, it works on 1916, it works on Deus Ex Human Revolution, and you want to set a pause key, F8. This will conflict with a few keys in game, but that doesn't matter. I know it conflicts in Saints Row, but it, it's, it's not a problem. No cursor, make sure that your your mouse doesn't show in the game. If there's a mouse in the game, for example in Diablo, if you have a mouse icon in the game, sometimes it shows, uh, sometimes it doesn't show, but it doesn't really matter. In settings here, uh, I have it 0x. 1080p, which is zero, just zero height, fit height times 1080p. This records in 1080p at 60 FPS with 100 quality. I'm going to show you the settings. Uh, there's a preset, by the way, which you can use if you're not really familiar with any of these settings. You can just hit 720p. I'm not going to change it right now because I'm recording with this at the moment, but. Uh, there's no default preset for 1080p. If you want to make it 1080p, 1080p, make sure that you're on fit height and you change this 0x to 1080p. The codec, I'm using MPEG-1 uh, with VBR, but you know you can use any of these that they have. Here, FPS, you want to set FPS to something that you know you can run. For example, I have it on 60. Uh, most of the time, the FPS that you set on Bandicam will determine the FPS in game. So if you can go over 60 FPS in the game, but you have your Bandicam set to 60 FPS, it's only going to record at 60 FPS. This is also uh, the way it's put if you uh, if you lower the FPS. So if you can record at 60 FPS, but your FPS on Bandicam is 30 FPS, you will play at 30 FPS, at least for me. I'm not sure if it's the same for everybody. Quality, if you find that 100 makes you lag a bit, you want to make it down to 80. This is 100 because it's the whole... It's, I'm only recording my desktop here, so it doesn't really matter. Um, the channels audio i have to put my channels on mono if i put it on stereo uh, as you can see here there's another option stereo if i put it on stereo you can only hear me on one side of your ear it only records my voice to the left side the frequency is 44 44 to 4000 uh 44100 yeah um that's just like the frequency of the voice the bit rate the, the more that you put on the bit rate the better quality of the audio but i just have it on 160 you can put it up if you want to maybe i'll move it later on uh, uh, there's not much difference between these two. I'm not even sure what these two are, so I'm going to leave them. Um, there's image. There's even a screenshot feature, which I'll never use. Probably never used in my life. I will probably never use it anyway. Uh, I use the Steam screenshot thing to screenshot. So yeah, I hope you learned something from the video. Um, specifically, this 1080p tip, because you have to set this to fit height and then 0x and then write 1080p here, because that's how you record in 1080p with Bandicam, because there's no preset for that. Uh, I'm not sure if it's, this is too stable though as 1080p, but I hope you learned something. Like the video, like the video. Um, maybe you can get recording. There's download links in the link below. There's download links in the box below. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.